everyone today we're going to make a pencil case this is my pencil case i use it for uni and i'm going to make another one just like it but maybe a different color so first thing you need is some fabric well this is made of um, cotton fabric and suede real suede see it's getting grubby i don't know what that is on that <laughs> So yeah, so cotton, suede, a zip, and whatever you want for the flower. If you want to make it out of suede, it'll be a bit thick actually for this flower. You need cotton. Um, so yeah, let me go and dig out some fabric. Okay, so I found this. I love this. I made um, a little dress. I made an adult dress out of it, and then cut it up and made a little dress out of it. Um, and now I'm going to use some scraps of it to make a pencil case so I've got my cotton fabric and I've got some red suede and one of the flowers that I made the tutorial check out my other videos for my tutorial so what I'm going to do for the flower though is remove the button and replace it with this so it'd be like that and then add um, a bead or something for the center Okay, oh, and for the lining, because it is lined, I'm going to use an old bed sheet, which, um, if you checked out my last video, which was uh, the, the lace belt, then um, I used that for the backing, so there's plenty of it. You know, there's no need to throw your sheets away. You can use them in your craft and your projects. Okay, so I ironed the fabric so I know exactly what I'm dealing with. It's, it's enough to make what I need anyway. And also, I forgot to mention, you need a zip, obviously. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is um, get the fabric for the two side pieces. Okay, so I've cut a bit fabric that measures 12 by 9 I'm going to fold it in half like so and then just cut it down the middle because I don't need that much just need a bit this side but this side just eyeballing it it so I've got two strips like so so the next thing I need to do is cut my suede okay so I found a bit that's um, the right length it could be I could do with it being a bit wider but this is um, the best piece that I've found so the next thing I'm going to do is put it put the um, fabric right sides I can't even find mm. right sides together and just stitch along one edge ok so just a straight stitch down the next thing I'm going to do is do a top stitch all the way down Okay, so I have top stitched that. I don't know if you can see it, but it is top stitch. I'm using like um, a mink colour thread, which um, which matches very well. But that's top stitch. The next thing is to do this exactly the same on the other side. So right sides together. I have to make sure that that fabric is straight right sides together and then open it up and top stitch okay so oops. that's that so it's been stitched and top stitched all right the next thing you do is just even it out by as you can see, that overlaps a bit, so just even out. Let's 
Okay, so now I need to cut um, a piece of my backing fabric or lining, which is an old bed sheet, and I'm going to cut that at 11 by 12. Okay, so that's the lining fabric cut to size and pinned. So next thing you need is your zip and I'm gonna, that's how it's gonna be. So the zip needs to be face down on the, the right side of the fabric like so and then you just sew along there and then once you've done that you top stitch it across like that okay so that is done one part of the zip is on so all you do now is fold it over like that and do the same thing on that side so you just sew along there and then top stitch it okay so it's been sewn and top stitched so now you want to turn it inside out and just do basic stitch down each side Okay, so once you've sewn down both sides, I'm going to neaten it off with my pink in shears. So the next thing is the flower. I could just put it on like that. That would go very nicely. But we don't want to do that. We want that on there. So what I'm going to do is take this button off and then stick this on and put a bead in the centre. Okay, so here's the flower. All you have to do is put some glue on the back. And stick it where you want to stick it. I'm going to put mine right there. And that's it, that's your pencil case. Finished, done and dusted. Um, for the flowers, I've done, these are like two different tutorials for these flowers. So if you check back on previous videos, you'll see a tutorial for this one and a tutorial for this one. And just stick them together and you get this one. I think it looks quite cute. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.